like so many people are uh, nu- deficient in certain nutrients and so many people are dehydrated yeah like, it's so easy to be dehydrated like you really should be drinking water all the fucking time yeah yeah, so I, was, dude, I, I felt good though. I didn't realize how spooky. different you feel. I didn't. Oh, first yeah. of all, you don't need really to eat that. I was crushing carbs. Yeah. And I went down to like not eating oh, anything. Like, oh, oh, I didn't know I didn't eat, eat that the whole yeah, my whole life. I've been primarily eating those. I think different people yeah. react different ways. I have a buddy that's been on keto now for like six months. He's lost sixty pounds. He looks fucking great. He said, "I'm never going back again." Dana White is another one. Dana White lost like forty pounds, so cool. and he's like, "Dude, I'm eating like this for the rest of my life." And this week, he was all sugar and yeah. bullshit and carbs, and he was having all sorts of health problems. Mm-hmm. But my buddy looks fucking great, John Dudley. He looks so great. Eight. He's he's like Dude, now I can hardly recognize him. Devils. He's six Deep foot five, speech. and now he's two hundred pounds. Oh wow! Like that's crazy. He was like at one point in time, he's like two fifty, yeah. probably even. A, he <coughs> was a big boy. And now he looks mm-hmm. fucking lean and mean. He's like, my joints feel amazing. Mm-hmm. My energy levels are great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If, I just don't think it's for everybody. Vegan. I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all diet. Yeah. I know a lot of people that just go vegan, and they're fine. And I know a lot of people that try it, and their, their body gets fucked up. I just think it's everybody's mm-hmm. different. Man. You think that happened to Bill? Clinton. He looks like shit. Yeah. But I think yeah. it's also How guilt. old is he? He's it's a lot old of guilt, guilt, right? Yeah. A lot of sleepless nights. <laughs> It's a lot of, a lot of thinking about all the shit he did. Yeah, imagine me yeah. yeah. and like, yeah. towards the end that comes out and they're like, oh, yeah. well, not just that, school, but having to live we'll get with the school being and the president and all we'll the shit that you gave the fucking thumbs up to and all the people that died and all the countries that got invaded and all the fucking black <coughs> ops that we don't know about and all, all the people that got assassinated and all the people that, like, how about the Obama administration? How many people died Check from drone strikes that were innocent? A yeah. lot. It was about 90% rate of civilians. Innocent people that were died in these targeted surgical drone strikes. Uh. Isn't that an amazing term you could use? Surgical. surgical for a missile with a bomb on the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very precise. Ah. Surgical <laughs> strikes. Dude, dude, imagine dude, again. Silent yeah. dinner. Yeah. Silent, silent like hot roast again. with Hillary Clinton, dude. Oh, Jesus. Your bill. <laughs> silent fucking. Like, you fucked up something on the news and she's not talking to you. She's in her pantsuit just like. <sighs> they have an, some <laughs> sort of arrangement. I can yeah. only imagine. Yeah. You think they, they don't even, like, you think they're just, like, totally different <laughs> wings of the house yeah, or something? They're partners. They're business partners. That's but she's still going. Yeah. She's still cognizant. He's oh, out. yeah. She's He's great. Great. In terms of, like, who would have been a better president representing the country, Sports her or Biden, D. her by a long Number shot. D. Yeah. Even Austin. if you don't agree with politics or you think yeah. she's a criminal, that yeah. lady's a stateswoman. Biden, eight years ago, Biden. Yeah. Um, I liked Biden back in the day. That, I liked that guy. full of shit. Yeah, but I like the fucking, like, hey, fuck you. I'll get the highest IQ yeah. in here, on earth. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. He had a good You're talking voice, a lot man. of shit. You remember Chung when he got confronted by that guy at the factory? The factory. Yeah. Yeah. He's an old man. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah. 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 You're trying to take where I got this, this guy. Was like a yeah. 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 Worker. Like, yeah. You don't know yeah. shit. Yeah. He's spazzy, dude. He Rogan gets... Er, Biden gets hit with, like, young dudes coming up being like, you're taking our guns. I'll kick your ass. Hey, buddy. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, you're it's, it's you're a, a what do you call him? Pony boy, dog, dog face, <laughs> pony <laughs> soldier. Pony boy, dog, boy, dog <laughs> face, <laughs> pony soldier. Here, oh Mas shit! Ask the bull in the bull shit. Here, yeah, we go. What's that sound? Oh, he's a bad ass. Make it come. I don't have any idea. But it used to be good. I don't know. Oh, is it's not our audio? Is no, this audio? Video. Yeah. See if we can find another one. Yeah, here we go. You're actually trying to stop. You're full of shit. Shush. Danny, shush. Shush. Yeah. shush. shush. I just support the Second Amendment. There's a way better video of it, though, right? I have a shotgun. He always talks about a shotgun. I don't got a shot. As if he doesn't have, like, armed murderers hanging around his house 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> I got a shotgun. I'm an old... Ca- you, I'll take my 12 gauge and shoot it out in the sky. <laughs> <and kill laughs> one I think he just makes up everything. Yeah, he's just living in a fucking. He does talk confidently though. He sounded like he was actually he handling business there. He hit a fucking lady with shush, and he was like, "You're full of shit." Yeah. Do you think he's on Adderall? Something. He's, he's got, got bro. Yeah, he's, he's got to be. I think there's a lot of functional people that are on Adderall. I think Trump dog was flying. He was on <laughs> something. something. Trump was flying on something. Yeah. I think a lot of people are doing that. Dave Portnoy is pretty <laughs> open about it. He, Adderall. He, he told me he did it before the podcast. Yeah. And he seemed totally normal. Yeah. But he's like, if I don't have it, I, I just feel like I don't have Sport my edge. Sport ain't and really. Yeah. yeah. 
Doesn't it like I heard it shrinks your like while you're high, it shrinks your, your penis is big time. Gone. Yeah, it turns really? like gray. Yeah, it, it's gone. Oh, dude, it's like a cocaine thing. W- almost worse because Adderall's all day. Your uh, dick is, dude. dude. Your dick is this. <laughs> I, I take Adderall sometimes just to get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to drink. Dude. You take Adderall, you can drink all day. Day. You can drink all day anyway. No, but I'll go like I'll, I'll go. go right. Okay. I'll take Adderall Mitchell and drink Trump. until my body shuts down. <laughs> yeah. But because of the Adderall, you're still there. Like all we went to World Series. I went to the Phillies. Phillies Astros in World Series. I was blacked out, but I was fully like, "What's going on?" Then we tried to leave the stadium, and I was like. <laughs> I was like, yo, I can't walk. <laughs> uh, Notre Dame, Ohio State, I left. I couldn't walk. Yeah, it's like in Call of Duty when your character you dies, but you, you get the camera to float around yeah. the whole thing. You take Adderall, you can drink. Because I don't, yeah. I get crazy. I can't drink on Adderall. How walk can you take it? That was the two times I'm taking it. Damn, it seems exciting. Ohio State, Notre Dame, World Series. It's a big day. If I'm taking Adderall, it's a big day. Dude, what's a dose? Whoever I'm with, there's always somebody around that is prescribed. Yeah, it's 10 to 20. I would say it's like 10 to 20. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Yeah, 10 to 20. 20 probably. 10 to 20. To sometimes sometimes you, get, you run into people that are like 30, uh, 40 milligrams. Said, Crunch a time release. We Googled the What's number. Ever? I think Fortnite said he took, it takes like 30. Yeah. I was like, I didn't bring it up. I was like, it's it's some people lot, munch dude. the time release too. You, they have little balls and you can crack down on them. And <laughs> they're they're all all I'm trying to snort those things. I tried. Plastic balls. Oh, dude. I, I tried. Um, this is crazy. I tried drinking on it twice. The one time I was I was in college. I tried to. I was on the Adderall. I didn't realize what it was. I was drinking on it. I got all zoomed out, and I was like at the kind of a not like a super high level of a concert. And I was like, I'm gonna jump down to the next level. <laughs> and I tried to jump down, and I got kicked out immediately. <laughs> it was fucked up. It was fucked up. Yeah, I was like, if I I could time it first, so all the guards' backs are turned, I'll jump down to the pit, climb up, and jump into the, like the. Other area. You're trying to get up to the stage. He snagged me. Yeah, yeah of course. He snagged me. You're on meth. That's I was like, meth. I'll jump into the crowd. I'll blend. <laughs> and the crowd just parted as I jumped into him. Bruh. The guy just beat the fuck I out of me. I was at a South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina did <laughs> beat He saw you. Knocked my one shoe off. Knocked my one shoe off. I got Ooh, back in. Ooh, with one, I kicked my other shoe off so I didn't look suspicious. So I walked in <laughs> in my <laughs> socks. And they thought my friend was me. And they started kicking him out. And I just like, I just let it happen. I was like, fuck it. My friend got kicked out. And then I got kicked out again. And then I snuck back in a third time. Yeah. No, no lie. lie. Dude, my God. God. This is Mission Impossible. I was so like, so I, I, I cannot <laughs> drink on Adderall. I snuck in. I, dude, I, I snuck in <laughs> with the Aramark <laughs> workers. I just walked in with them. Only in my, my socks. socks. <laughs> and I climbed up through under the bleachers, and I just emerged into, <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> people yeah. <laughs> dude, I fucking, it was the Beastie Boys. Like, oh, dude, I love this song. Oh, it was like intergalactic planetary. And it's crazy. Oh my god, it's amazing. I was, yeah, yeah, it's I, speak of, <laughs> yeah, that's that's shit. Shit. sneaking. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna appreciate the sneaking at a stadium. I was <sighs> gone. It was an all day tailgate. I was at <laughs> South Carolina versus Tennessee. SEC football. It's a night game in South Carolina. <laughs> And I'm standing yeah. there, and there's just a tiny fence between me and the handicap section. And I literally yeah, I just, just stepped over it. No oh, one, no one bad bad bad. <laughs> I was standing there just. <laughs> <laughs> I was just all in the field. I left my friends. They were in the student <laughs> section. I, I was just <laughs> shit face walking around. I was like, <laughs> stepped in. And, dude, people were, like, looking at me like, checks out. <laughs> Holy checks, checks out. out. <laughs> It happened in, uh, uh, you get like that. I was in a, <laughs> was in a building. <laughs> 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 I'm just picturing you shit-faced. It's some guy doing a handicap check. Yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> I was at the Bills game, Bills Steelers this year, uh, and Gabe Davis, Davis is a wide receiver. receiver. He likes comedy and he likes podcasts and all this stuff. So he, he invited, invited me to the game. I'm, I'm at the game. End of, I took Adderall. Adderall there. <laughs> there you go. There's another Adderall. Uh, end of the game. He's like, come down here towards the field. He took his jersey off, autographed it, and handed it to me up in the stands. Whoa. Dude, it's just me and children. Me and little kids are the only dudes like down there trying to get high fives from the players. <laughs> <laughs> this guy hands me his jersey, and people are like, "Oh, that's a, it's a guy." Special. Like yeah. NFL Films was filming it, like it Whoa. was a spe- it was like a sweet moment for them to be giving me a jersey, and I was like, 
scored. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I just said you were not one of those special needs, man. Oh, no. It was just me and children. It was me and children oh, in God. the bleachers. Like, like, high five. Can I get your gloves? <laughs> Good game. And then a guy gave me a jersey, and they're like, nice. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah, like that's, <laughs> what, it, that's, that's what, what it's all about. about. Yeah, they're like, folks, Sport look at Gabe Davis insane. giving back to the, the community. Worst. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing that can ever happen to someone is a baseball <laughs> game where a, 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 a pitch gets hit, a ball gets hit, it goes foul, and some guy snatches it in front of a kid's face while the kid's trying to catch it. Yeah, yeah he celebrates, <laughs> like reaches in front of the kid, and then everybody looks at him like, yeah. I you want to know how fucking weird I am? I've been to, a, I went, to, I keep going to baseball games and I love them, but mm. I, the whole time I'm like, dude, if there's a foul ball, I'm getting the Sports fuck out system. of the way. I'm so, like, like dude, dropping a foul, foul ball. ball. You know how embarrassing that is? Yeah, it's true. It's scary. You can easily foul drop a foul scary. ball. Catch them all with one, one hand. hand. It's crazy. I've seen dudes catch yeah, they line drive drive with one hand. Beer. Everyone's like, yeah. Hero. I Hero get hit. move. I, I've saw, saw seen people die in front of the ball to save their friend when it's, it's coming to a friend's head. And the friend nice. is like on their phone and yeah. shit. Yeah. Jesus. Taking it from the kid is fucking cracked oh, by dude. a ball. Dude, they used to let go of the, there was no nets down the third and first base line, dude. Dudes would let go of the bat. Oh, oh, there's oh, a fucking oh. hilarious image of this dude in the crowd getting hit with a bat. <laughs> it's oh. right here. His jaw is oh. off the space. <laughs> I saw another one like that where a dude caught a bat. Bat went flying. The dude fucking snatches the bat really? out of the air. Yeah, just That's instinctive. Fuck. Sports yeah. team. If you're in a baseball game, ninety percent of the time you're not paying. Yeah, I'm more. Yeah. I'm one of those where you can kind of watch something bad happen. <laughs> what is this one? This is the bat one. Yeah, a couple bats. Oh yeah, so this is the bat. The bat Incredible. flies and the dude snags it. Oh, Look and it's that. sharp, dude. It fucking was split. Hero. That guy's a hero. Look at him. Oh my god. That's the greatest moment of his life. He caught that bat. Well, he's yeah, talking dude. shit. Look at this. Look at this. And look at homeboy. This thing went pale. Everybody's freaking out. These guys like, I got this shit. Thanks. One handed it. I mean, that thing could have hit a vampire. That's our leader. That's oh, yeah, our that's leader. Yeah, that's good. It's a vamp out, dude. If we were a tribe, it was a tribe, that audience, that's our leader. Yeah. That's the guy who caught the bat. Look at that. Animal. Yeah, he's got that still image yes. of that dude getting his fucking face smashed. <laughs> Do you know how good that's that so guy good. must have felt, though? To I hold mean, that fucking bat up, standing up like this, and the whole audience like, yeah. 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 Especially you didn't see it coming. Right. Like, the there. closest thing we can get to adrenaline is like a good set. Yeah. yeah. That's this it. guy was just oh, watching. Yeah, look at this. Oh. Yeah. This guy saved this kid. Wow. Look at the lady. Look at the lady. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my attention. God. Dude. Oh, my God. That kid was done. Oh, look at the mom. Look at the mom bailing. Damn, look how jacked that dad is. Yeah, yeah, that's an animal. Look at the size of that dude. Oh, <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what that's I'm afraid you. of. I'm going to be the guy going... Yeah, but imagine, <laughs> imagine, look at the guy, look at the guy on the right. Imagine yeah. a classical oil painting. That'd be a beautiful painting, dude. Look at the guy yeah. all the way to the right. That, yeah. be, <laughs> that guy's still drinking his drink. He's slurping. He's in the middle of slurping. Oh, middle of slurping. Dude. <laughs> One guy's not even reacting. He's just sitting there like, whatever, dude. <laughs> Is that a drink or popcorn or bowl? That's popcorn. He's got some popcorn. Yeah, I think both, but it just it looks like popcorn. Now we're on to something. Yo, <laughs> find, find that lady getting racked in the face yeah. with a basketball. <laughs> so good. Ooh. Dude. Is that her? Broken bat at Fenway Sports Park. Oh my god, life threatening injuries. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> look at the lady. Oh, that's look at the kid. Look at the little kid. Took it. Look at the little girls. Like, yeah. Save me. <laughs> Dude, that guy didn't even get his Save arms up. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Back here, sees it happening. Bro, he got cracked. How bad that guy getting injured? Scored eight. He's a little <laughs> old to get hit in the head like that. Too. Yeah, that might have done him in. <laughs> Shattered jaw at the oh, fucking. Oh, for sure. At the <laughs> least. I mean, I'm looking at that right now. Cubs game. Oh, That's like man. Anderson Silva hitting him with a left hook. Look Damn. at that. Yeah. Snatch. That guy caught one. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 This is sick. <laughs> Look at that lady just looking with, like, morbid curiosity. <laughs> yeah, that lady's a psycho. Yeah, dude. Look at her. She's just staring down that bat. Oh, this is, um, this, like, yes. shows the true, oh but your deepest layer. God. Oh, my God. Oh, that photo's just nice, too. What's yeah, up? That's a, oh, the amazing. photographer getting all that caught still yeah. without it's all the movement. Every single one of those photographers, photographers went, dude, I got that. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. A, it, they have yeah. to be on point for that, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you do it. It. You <laughs> Jesus Christ. How dude, many, I mean, that guy's a fucking That is amazing. Look at the size yeah. of the John Cena arms on I that mean, motherfucker. Yeah. 
That dog is a tank. That's Imagine if he was doing like we. Yeah, really. You got that, bro? No, well, that looks like it's his kid. He's just oh like, yeah. Here's my boy. Boy. Just been just saved. Ah, Look dude. at the kid's face. Ooh. He's playing fruit. That guy's using the force. That might not be his kid. Man. No. Yeah, that's a. Well, no, I think that's a mess. There's two kids. Boy, Look at the little girl. The little girl next to him is smart as fuck. Look at her. I thought it was his She's mom. like down. Oh, maybe. It might be the mom. Scorch whoever it is. They they just ducked. Damn, I, I doubt it's the mom. mom. True. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the the row in front of them. That's what that is. Right. 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 Next to her. <laughs> so the dude is next to him. The black dude up there. Like, oh. I think moms have a thing innately where they can't, they genuinely can't get infected. out of the way. Like, they'll yeah. just stick their head. Ooh, yeah. Wow. You ever drive with your mom in the car? Yeah, dude. Anytime. Yeah, they put their hand over yeah. there. Well, every single time. And it's, it's pretty yeah. sweet, actually. It's very nice. My yeah. wife does that to me sometimes. It's very sweet. I'm like, hilarious. Yeah, are you serious? You've never done that, that one. The little bitch ass movie. How much strength do you think you have that way? Almost none. Like, how much resistance do you have that that way? Did you ever test it out? Did you ever test it? Did you ever, like, fuck her arm? Like, dude, don't do that. You're going to hurt yourself. She's only done it a couple times. She does it with the kids. Mm. It's just a natural thing to do with yeah, kids. Right. They're, they're hitting the brakes. But it's just like you have zero power that way. <laughs> yeah, focus on the fucking road, dude. Like, Hold the how, steering wheel. How much can you stop going Nothing. in that direction Nothing. with your arm outstretched like that and you weigh 130 pounds? Yeah. Like, what are you fucking I mean, this could be a very dark <laughs> statement, but I don't know. What? That means every single time a mom's in a car accident with a kid. Yeah. A severe one. She did go like this. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing she felt was... Oh, he's going yeah. out. He's out the window. Oh, when anyway. I was a kid, we didn't wear seatbelts. <laughs> Nobody wore. No one did. We used to all pretend. We would laugh. My, my parents would be like, "You guys clicked in," and we'd all go click with our like make the yes. noise with our mouth. They'd yeah. be like, "Ha ha," and they laugh. My dad, my <laughs> uncle, would, they cut their when they started beeping. They just cut their seatbelts off and plugged them in. Oh Jesus Christ! Seatbelts were gay, <laughs> dude. Now they're not. I still I don't know what happened. Scorched Whoever knees? did seatbelts at fucking to be PR. You were a seatbelt. Ah, you were a pussy. Kind of a pussy. Yeah, like if you're a cool guy in a muscle car movie, you didn't have a seatbelt. When did that ah, change? Dude. What happened? But even Paul today, Walker. I didn't notice. Paul Walker. <laughs> Dudes would be driving in cars Something. and they're not wearing seatbelts. You know? yeah. Fast and oh, the Furious might have been seatbelt propaganda. Yeah. Mm. Might have been the CCP. It could have been the CCP. They, they manufacture all the seatbelts. <laughs> <Scorched. laughs> True. Probably <laughs> do. Ah, you see. Bro. You come up with this Bro, thing? this is deep. <laughs> <laughs> this Paul Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Seatbelt <laughs> China. <laughs> Hold on. We, uh, Jamie, will you find that old woman getting hit in the face <laughs> with the basketball? No, we're done. No, I want to see yeah. this lady get hit in the face. It's a very <laughs> funny video, and then we can find a new topic. There's Go. nothing like rodeo guys getting stomped. <sighs> well, that's actually like yeah. brutal. Yeah. Ooh, you yeah. Cry, you or see running you with someone get hit by something. <laughs> oh, yeah, running see, with it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Running the bulls though, that that's rodeo guys. You're at least like this is a sport. All this, the it's those a sport where there's only one person knows oh to participate. So Running the bulls has gets, it coming. How does she get hit? Well, it'll happen once, and then it gets zoomed in before you can see it. Okay. Oh, you cry. You just oh. right in the mug. Oh, oh she wasn't looking. Oh uh, no, she wasn't looking at all. Oh, look at that face, bro. Oh, it was like a chain email. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Dude, look, 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 look. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, dude. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Dude, on the beak. Oh, dude. That dude is so bad. He was trying to block it. Oh. She didn't even know what happened. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Took a shot well, though. Oh. Uh, that makes me happy. <laughs> She's a, a basketball, you're all right. Yeah, sure. that's, that's Marsha Brady. It's the worst. Oh, she basketball, you <laughs> she could have whiplash easy. Let's see what happens. Does she stay in the game? She's supposed to stand up with her arms over here like. Look at her. She's smiling. She's already laughing. She took it. She took it well. She took it well. She loves the shot. Right. She loves right. the shot. Right. Basketball. One more time, Jamie. Really? Yeah, it's a Hornets. <laughs> and by the way, Hornets ball. Hornets ball. Hornets get the ball back, dude. Fuck yeah. the Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Sacramento versus <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> she she got popped in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to watch the Kings Hornets. <laughs> <laughs> six seats too. <laughs> six <laughs> seats. <laughs> what year? Yeah, she was looking at her Facebook. That was recent. Oh, yeah, man. Cousins was with the Kings. Scorched. Running of the Bulls though. Those are those are fun dudes. Have you seen an old person that's paying attention to their phone? They get hit by something. They're always on Facebook. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, you say yeah. yeah. I thought you said for sure. <laughs> yeah. It's Facebook. That's the platform. Yeah. That's all old people. Geezers love Facebook. They yeah. love it. Why Sports, is that? Sis and fucking rules. I know, but, you're why, a geezer, but dude? why is it for 
Is it political mm-hmm. arguments? Like, what are they Political getting arguments, into? you're like, what happened to everybody I knew ever? Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. all of a sudden, it's like, holy shit, this is what they're mm-hmm. up to? Nice. No, your kids look great. You ever catch an ex talking to Facebook? I don't have Facebook. I, do, I got you rid don't of have it. one? Yeah, I got rid no, of one. I, I, I had one, I deleted it, and then it's I got a new one because I wanted to like see a group, <laughs> but I never, I never go it's on It's important anymore. for an open micers because that's the only way you can fight all the other comics in yeah. the local scene's Facebook page. Everybody just fights in there. Really? Well, when you go off of Facebook for like years and go back on, it's kind of eerie because then you see people <laughs> writing the same kind of thing. stuff like two years later and you go, whoa, mm. that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a big time suck. It's a definitely a time suck. They're so addictive. All these social media yeah. apps are so addictive. Yeah. Watching people get fat on it's nice. Yeah. You, slow, you get to go back in their pictures and watch the trans. You go, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to 2014, like, let's go to the present. You go, ooh, ooh boy. Ooh, you got okay. sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were sad for a few years, and I can see it. <laughs> well, during COVID. Oh, the null is and it's just, uh, yeah. Yeah, that must yeah. Be, that must be kind of fun to watch during Sports COVID. Speak and fact, un- unhinged <coughs> Facebook. Idiots. <laughs> yeah, I had friends who just were drinking wine every night. Every night. And they're like, there's no problem. Yeah. <coughs> wine every night's. Scored yeah. since. Yeah, they're, they're polishing off. Just hanging out. Just, no, I know. That's what I mean. Just yeah. crushing. Yeah, by yourself. Nuts. Trapped <laughs> in your house. That was so fucked up. We got trapped. Yeah, in I did. That was crazy. Dude, I, I mean, I miss it. I loved it so much. Really? Did you? Dude, I was at my parents' house. That kind of rules. Dude, yeah. I got, again, I got NCAA 14. I was playing Xbox in my parents' basement. Shit oh. ruled. Scorch. You didn't feel like a loser at all? I, how could you? No one's doing anything. Uh, yeah, no fair. That's the best part. That's, that's the best part. No right? one's doing anything. Right. You could be a loser. You're allowed to fuck off. Yes. Yeah, everyone was fucking off. It's like the world got a vacation. Yeah. Turns out the economy <laughs> doesn't work that way. Turns out it, it is yeah. going to backfire it's quite real a bit. Bad. I'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. you'll be fine. <laughs> but I like, outside of missing the days in the basement, dude, yeah. this was a couple of, two years ago. I was in mm. my parents' basement. My mom would be like, "Dinner, isn't it crazy?" I'd run up the steps, that eat dinner. Two years ago, we were all scared, locked in. Yeah, yeah, I was, dude. dude I, like, I just had my first kid, and I had to make the call to be like, "Nah, fuck this stuff, stuff dude." And my wife's like, "If you fucking get this wrong, I'm like, nah, dude, don't worry." What do you mean? Just being like, I, I checked out the the like the death rates, and I'm like, bro, the odds are pretty good we'll be fine. Yeah. And she was like, well, and I looked as soon as I looked up the age, I was like, Scorch oh, dude, don't worry effect. about this. But it was like, dude, Ooh, she was like, can't go out. She, you know, we said she was in like yeah. primal fear mode, and I had to be like, trust me, dude, <clears throat> I can go out and go cop it's these very mushroom chocolates. It's very lucky that it's not <laughs> scary at all for kids. Yeah, no, it's very lucky. It's fucking it's it's ideal. Yeah, the well, the flu is worse for a lot of kids. So this is my thing. This, this is a, this is I'm what I. Whiz. You guys talk. This is my thing, <laughs> oh, dude. Here's my thing, dude. It's like once they figured out it. Once they figured out it fucked like the older people up. They, if I'm 80 years old, I th- I'd like to think I would be like, yeah, I'll you know I'll take it. But if you're like, li- I wouldn't tell my grandkids if they didn't know well, what it was. They thought in the beginning that it was gonna stop transmission and stop people from getting infected, and that it was safe and effective. Yeah. And so it made sense that everybody Finish was the left in fear. Yeah. yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. Game. It made sense. Yeah. It totally made the the hysteria makes sense. People weren't given the best information. You ever see the CEO of mm-hmm. Pfizer talk about it now? It's crazy the way he describes it. He goes, he goes. Uh, one to two shots. See if you can find this, Jamie. He goes, one to two shots uh, gives you very little protection, if any at all. And the third shot gives you reasonable protection from hospitalization and death. That's what he's saying now. That, that's what he said in some sort of a speech. I don't know when this was, but to hear him say it that way, I was like, I have never heard you say it this way before. I've never heard anybody say it this way before. Yeah, I, I get it. It's, it's hard to like, yeah, make heads or tails of it, but I don't know. I just when it came, came out, out, I was like, wait. Let's show this here. When it came out, I was like, nah, I'll wait. Um, <laughs> the third dose car- p- quite good protection against deaths and decent protection against hospitalization. What the fuck does decent mean though? From yeah, like that's a, decent. Such a cra- it's weird to hear him say it though. It'd be, yeah, it'd be like, ah, you'll be kind of stoked on it. It's like, thanks, dude. But this is, I mean, again, I don't know. It's hard to if know it's true, but isn't it like a lot of the stuff aren't, aren't like are independent people <laughs> allowed to replicate the studies Pfizer do, does, or are they not allowed to? Well, they don't give you the actual raw data. They give you like when they do peer-reviewed studies on uh, <laughs> peer-reviewed uh, reviews of uh, 
data that the vaccine companies provide them, they don't get access to the raw data. They get access to the data that the people that work for the pharmaceutical companies Sports release. Fee and fee. Yeah. They don't get all the studies. They don't get, you know, you know like the vaccine companies are allowed, or pharmaceutical companies, rather, with any sort of thing they do. They're allowed to, is this it here? <coughs> okay, I'll play it here. Version that will be effective against Omicron as well. It's not that it will not be effective against the <coughs> other variant, but against Omicron as well. And um, the hope is that we will achieve something Sports that will have and way, way okay. better uh, protection, particularly against infections, because the protection against the hospitalizations and the severe diseases, it is, it is uh, reasonable right now with the current vaccines, as long as you are having, let's say, the Sports third uh, and dog. Fear. This vaccine will be ready. In, uh, yeah, that's uh, not it. Can you understand what he's saying? I'm trying to find mm -hmm. it. No, he's maybe a liar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now they they're finding out that the new one, this um, um, bivalent uh, vaccine, the new data is you know, more and effective six. than the other vaccine. Well, do you ever get into the antidepressant <coughs> stuff? How that, like the serotonin oh, hypothesis? Yeah. That you're, you're allowed to do as many studies as, as you want. want. And if you get the one that kind of like is statistically significant, then you can be like, all right, that's our one. Yeah. Run it. And it's like. You could have like 800 dogs and have one good one. Exactly. Right. Okay. That's fucked up. And it's, 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 it's never been, as far as I know, the, the whole hypothesis hasn't been like proven to like a, even if you use like clinical significance, like does it actually <laughs> work in theory? Like, cause when you like, when they're doing like P values and shit, you can fuck around with math and just get like, oh, it's a point of five. It's like, well, cool. Yeah, no, they, they. I fucking have, hate P values. Dude, been, it doesn't make any sense. They no, jailed on the concept <laughs> that, it, that it's a, a chemical imbalance. They said there's no evidence it's a chemical imbalance. Are we talking about depression? Yeah, yeah, man. Ooh. That's, that's that, was the, well, that was the thing that they'd always said <laughs> about the, the reason why SSRIs work. Yeah. Yeah. Because it combats a chemical depression, a uh, chemical imbalance. But now, what, find that. Find the paper that, that shows that there's no Sports real evidence that it's a chemical fact. imbalance. Did they ever figure Ooh, out when, did, when, when did they start putting kids fact. on this stuff? Oh man! <laughs> when did Columbine happen? They've they've looked at that stuff before. Because that seems kind of well. There weird. was Chantix. <laughs> Chantix was the anti-smoking, I think, one, and that like w there was a lawsuit for that. That was like what really if school shootings up. really skyrocketed? Is it? Uh, dude, all I'm saying is they they they. they I mean, I'll say, I don't know. I want to say lie about the SSRI thing, but it was like, dude, they didn't yeah. give the full picture on those. Then there was oxycotton. Depression is not like caused by <laughs> chemical imbalance in the brain. Yeah, dude. We Sports don't know how antidepressants there. work. There is no convincing Ooh, evidence that depression is caused by serotonin abnormalities. Many people take antidepressants believing <coughs> their depression has a biochemical cause. Research does not support this belief. The notion that antidepressants <coughs> work by elevating serotonin levels is not supported by the evidence. Whoa. Oh, dude, it's and they, dude, they gave these Ooh, the, so, and they the side effects of these things are fucked up. They're very yeah. bad. This is what's crazy. M uh, carries, uh, look at this. Major depression <laughs> is one of the most common psychological disorders <clears throat> affecting more than 23 million adults and adolescents each year. It carries economic costs of hundreds of billions and is a major risk factor for suicide. The causes of depression have not been debated, yet a common explanation <laughs> holds the culprit is chemical imbalance in the brain. This notion emerged not coincidentally in the late 80s with the introduction of Prozac, Jesus Christ, a drug Dude. that appeared to help Late in 80s. treating depression so by increasing the right. levels of the <laughs> brain <laughs> transmitter serotonin. So it makes you feel better. And so they said, oh, you must have a chemical imbalance. They just juice people up, juice them up with serotonin. Like, yay. And that makes you feel better. Yeah, it's. I'm all right with it. It's fucked. With what? Just fuck it, dude. Get a cubicle. Sports ain't <laughs> and jack <laughs> it up, dude. <laughs> Take that shit. Like <clears throat> How many people do you know that are on Prozac? It looks like a good time. Uh, uh, almost everyone. Everyone you know is on Prozac. Uh, I think a, a lot of people third? are on. I think like a third, is right. I think yeah. a third yeah. of women are on. Women on Prozac. Think something like an antidepressant. Yeah. I think. I think it's a third of women. I bet you feel great. In yeah. Well, anti anxiety. I think it, anti it dulls yeah. you after. I think at first it's like nice, and then you <laughs> it dulls you, and from what I've heard, you just stop feeling stuff about anything. Uh, and then you need to keep up in the dose and up in the dose and it increases you your weight gain. Because then you've got to keep making all the serotonin. <laughs> I think serotonin is made from carbohydrates. Like, it, you need carbs to make it. So people s gain weight because they start fucking gorging themselves on snacks. Oh, really? And, so, and then you get, like, all the sexual dysfunction, ED. What about 5-HTP? There's uh, serotonin precursor precursors that you take. Maybe. <laughs> Here's my thing. If they <laughs> cause erectile dysfunction, how are you going to be happy without a boner? With SSRIs? Yes. Yeah. Big time, Mike.
That can be every other motherfucker. For real, yeah, anytime I'm yeah. choked up, I'm pretty happy. And imagine a boner was nowhere in sight. <laughs> <laughs> imagine them and Adderall, SSRIs and Adderall together. You literally don't have a penis. You would it'd be an alien. You forget. Oh. You forget you took Adderall because you're hammered. You go <laughs> to the bathroom, and chances are I'm at a football game or a stadium, so there's guys next to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You go up to the urinal. You go. Oh yeah. <laughs> You just can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> News of this cannot spread. You get pissing all over your underwear. It's all over your shoes. Yeah, but your dick is fucking <laughs> well, thick. It, you got to break the plane at that point. At that point, you're going all the way in. Your dick is breaking the plane. You're going up. <laughs> up. That's how small your dick is, dude. Prozac and Adderall could result in serotonin oh, no. syndrome, a potentially serious condition. Unless closely monitored by a doctor, you should not take Adderall and Prozac together. Yeah. Uh. You probably shouldn't take any of this shit. Yeah, well, my theory is... Let's try to have a good time. I'm pretty sure anxiety and depression are baked into the human experience. I don't think you can get away from it. Yeah, you sound like a good Catholic. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> I used to have wicked panic attacks when I was 23, and I was also a gigantic piece of shit. And it was the thing that, like, made, made me start, start thinking about my life. I was, like, shocking in my... I was just like... Uh, uh, and if I had just gotten medication, I just would have kept being a giant piece of shit. Mm. I'm always yeah. like, hey, you know, sometimes you gotta go through it, you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta slough through that stuff. Yeah. I was a fucking. How'd you pull piece out of it? Shit. Yeah, I, I just fucking had to come to grips with the fact I was going to die eventually. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you say a piece of shit, you were just. Dude, I was, I was just what a you doing? monster, bro. What were you taking? Nah, nah, I wasn't even. I was just. What were you doing? Just like selling drugs. Selling drugs. Oh, you were yeah, selling drugs. Yeah, I was a bad kid. Uh, I had no excuse. I had like, you know, I wasn't like, like I was like, like my back, back to the wall. I was like, I just like got a couple jobs. I'm like, I don't like this. I was like, I should sell drugs. What kind of drugs are you selling? Pretty much everything. Really? Weed was the main weed was the mainstay, but then I started like I got I got coerced into pill. I didn't even know what pills did, so I like my friends would talk me into going and like finding pills. For them. <coughs> Turned yeah. into a whole thing, dude. It was t- it was a bad news. How'd you get out of it? Just stopped eventually. Wow. Just stopped. Yeah. Patreon right. podcast. Patreon. <laughs> 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 now we're good. <laughs> Thank you, Patreon. <laughs> no, it was. I had That's like amazing. I didn't know what pills did. I remember watching a whole. Not even a whole, but, like, it was an apartment complex, and there was these two buildings full of, like, all these kids who were living there. And it's a long story, but, like, I somehow got Scores my hands on, like, and Watson Pharmaceutical, dr- like, jugs of fucking, it was, they were Vicodin. <laughs> and, like, they were just, I didn't, I thought. I love how that I somehow got my hands <laughs> <laughs> on jugs of Something Vicodin. Happened. How did, that's never happened to me. Weird. <laughs> I've never seen one of any yeah. jugs of Vicodin. Open up a cabinet. <laughs> 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 just, I've never seen one of them. It's a I jug of Vicodin. How many are we talking? Dude, dude, dude you know when you're at the pharmacy and you look behind, behind the counter, counter, it's those big boys? Oh, like a whey protein, protein bottle? Yes. Like one of them big oh, yes. scoop protein things? Yeah. How much was that worth? Uh, right. Last right. time, it was... You're it, going to jail. You're scored, talking about this dude. on the podcast. You're fucked. No, uh, statue of limitations. What is a statue of limitations? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> statue of limitations. Statue of limitations. Statue of limitations, dude. I'm just kidding. Shit's got the shades on. It's time. It's over. Okay, here we go. But no, it was school. That's basically the thing. I was just a fucking turn on there. Do, 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 do. That was the thing. I'd be statute of limitations. Statute of limitations. Statute. 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 The French gave us this. I was laying in bed. <laughs> going, what, the, what the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Having panic attacks. Yeah. And it forced me to be like, yeah, it's fucking every so, day. So, so how'd, you, how'd you phase out of it? I just stopped. It, it, it made me develop like a sense of like, like, yeah, this is fucking other people up. And I like saw people, people getting fucked up. And I'm like, I'm going to stop doing this. And you kept getting robbed at gunpoint. And I kept getting robbed at gunpoint. How many times you get robbed at gunpoint? Twice. Whoa. Yeah, twice. Twice. After the first time, you're like, this is never going to happen again. After the first time, I went back. The plug robbed me at gunpoint, and he's like, I won't do it again. And I was like, okay. You said yes, daddy. The plug? What's the plug? The dude who's your supplier. Oh, your supplier robbed you at gunpoint. Well, yeah. It was, like a, it was kind of a mess. He, I would give him money, and he would go get them. And then one time, he came back without them, and he, I was like, dude, just have them. I'm so scared of these guys. And I was just like, you can just keep it all. I don't Scorch care. And he was like, and how do I know you didn't set me up? And he pulled a gun Ooh, out on me. I was like, oh. scared me. And my roommate walked down and went, ah! And <laughs> oh, then he just, Jesus. they both just ran out. But, yeah. And so then you tried to buy from him again? No, I told him, I, he like, time passed. And he's like, dude, I'm so sorry. I found out who actually robbed me. <laughs> he's like, if you could come back, I'll take care of you. You know, I'll like, make it worth your while. And I'll just, you'll never have to put Scorch any money up ever again. And there. And, and then what happened? happened? So I just went back. Ooh, started, you know. and then he and then happened, happened to just pull his gun uh, off. Then apparently he <laughs> got in trouble for, I think he tried to shoot at somebody. So I went back to pay him back one time, and then some guy was like, nah, he's in jail. He tried to so shoot but, someone. But he tried to, you said he pulled the gun on you twice. Once. A different guy pulled a gun on me. 
<laughs> he, you said he said he would never do it again. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, sure. Sure. So that guy would never do it again. He the other guy did it. Some other guy. There was some guy. I was in a house. Some guy came in with a gun. That was that stunk. Scorch back what and was see. <laughs> weed. Ooh, he 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 you just said, "Give me your weed." Yeah, he. It was like kind of like one of those things where like a guy comes in. Yeah, and he goes, oh my god, some guy happened to be behind <laughs> me with a gun. And everyone get down. And he, they, I was sitting there like, "This is bullshit." So then he like just took the money, took like the weed, and then he was like. Just like who the fuck you know, blah, blah, blah. he started telling me like I was on his territory, and I was like, dude, come on, man. Ooh, and I just sat there and he just talked for like two minutes, and he's like, if you guys try to look out the window, well, we're gonna go outside, they're gonna shoot you. Because all I did have a thousand bucks behind my back though. I didn't tell him about, so I got to keep that. Sword. That's, pretty, That's pretty sweet. That was pretty. A lot of people would have lost their composure. Thankfully, that other guy pulled his gun. Dude, know what? But know what happens though is you lose. Everything slows down. And you're able to, like, I was in that, the first time I just shit my pants, the second time I was, like, so looking at the kid who I never met before, who I knew kind of set this up, because I watched one kid I knew, like, be in a real state of fear, and I watched this other guy pretending to be scared, all while this guy in a ski mask was like, whoa, 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 with a gun, Finish and it was just like, in fear fuck, like, like, the part of my brain, like, I might get shot, just went offline, and I was able to watch and be like, I'm gonna fucking kill this little motherfucker, and this guy, you know, blah, 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 but. And so how yeah. long after that did you stop? Couple years. <laughs> <laughs> I was chasing the bag. Yeah. 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 I got robbed. I didn't make any money. I got robbed constantly. I was too trusting. I got robbed constantly. I got robbed by club one time. Club point it sucked. Club. Hey, these guys yeah. were like, "We'll bash Irishman your." with a shillelagh. What's up, Wee? Have you got Matt McConaughey? Damn. Yeah, it's so so non-violent. He's a non-violent non drug dealer. Yeah. So how did you <laughs> did go, how did you start making money when you quit? So I always worked in construction and stuff too. I'd always have a oh. side gig, so I never depended on one too much. So I could always say like "fuck you" to my job if I didn't like it, and if I was, things got like weird, I could be like oh, I'm not gonna do. Sports I would chill. Feet mm. feared, so I had a kind of like hybrid approach. Mm. And how'd you get into podcasting? I was just a comedian. Me and Shane were just looking together. I'm like, dude, can we please do a podcast? I'm fucking dying here. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing video games. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just, I mean, I was. What is I, it called again? In case we forget. Matt and Shane's Shane. secret podcast. Yeah. Scorch, fear, and fear. But yeah, yeah. Man, that was, uh, it's not the way. That was not the way. No, but. it doesn't sound like the way. But I was. Li Sounds I, like you got some good stories out of it, though, and you lived. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. But I lived, I was living according to a fucked up system, and it was like. Things called mental disorders got me out of it. That's what I'm trying to say. We're like, dude, this Scorch is my body. Is like, this is fucked dude, up. When you were crying, tell that story. Which uh, one? When you were crying uh, after you tried to sell real estate. Oh, dude. Yeah, and I became so a good. realtor, too. I was 19. I was a realtor. I was like selling <laughs> Percocets. I'm like, I'm going to become a realtor and really expand my empire. Imagine a 19 year old <laughs> kid trying to sell your Scorch house. Scorch feet and shit. I had a, sh like a shaved head and I would come in and like. People would just be like, yeah, we're not going to use you. And I'd try in my car and be like, fuck, it's so fucking hard. <laughs> These people weren't going to use you. We got to buy the house when we won't use you. They would you. say they were going to use me, and then I would be like, sweet, I'm gonna about to make 4000 bucks, and I would like take a credit card and max it out, being like, payday's coming, and then they'd be like, yeah, we're actually going with someone else, and I'd be like, fuck, I'm fucking ruined. <laughs> Isn't that a dirty move in the real estate world? Yeah, but I was... You know, but what happens? He's Nineteen, you're like, yeah, whatever. Well, in real estate, what people do is they they, they go, uh, we'll get you. Like, what did what did the other guy say he can get you for your house? And they'll go pie in the sky, because they'll Ooh, you'll just go, oh yeah, that sounds better. Then they know they're trying to, not going to sell for that, but they sign you into the contract and they just slowly lower you down, which kind of fucks you, because that like first week's kind of important. If they see you've lowered the price, then they go, oh, they're opening negotiations. Don't get me started, bro. I'm fucking certified, <laughs> fucking real right. You and Tim Dillon should do a podcast just on real estate. Dude, I remember I was like, I'm going to start being a grown-up and reading the newspaper. I open it up. There's like subprime mortgage crisis. And I was like, what the fuck's that? That's Tim. Was yeah, he a real or Tim? His fault. Oh, dude. It's he all was his all fault. over that. He was a That's subprime like mortgage started. guy. Was he really? Yeah, that's what he did. He fucked me. Scored. Oh, no, he did. He did. Tim had like five houses in shape. Yeah. That he was in? Well, he had one house that got repossessed. <laughs> Repo. Yeah, it, he bought it for, I think <laughs> he bought so it for funny. like $600,000 when he was 21 years old, worth nothing. And then they, they took it from him, and then it sold for two hundred fifty. So it was like right after 2008, ah. everything crashed. Scored. <laughs> Sis and there. He lost everything. Yeah. He's like, why the fuck did they sell me a house? Fierce. I mean, he's exactly right. Oh, the way he describes the city, we did a podcast together recently, this podcast uh, w that we filmed here, but the way he describes it, it's funny. I listen. It's like, it was a good episode. Yeah, he goes, everybody's at fault. You knew yeah. you couldn't fucking buy that house. True. Like, why are you trying to buy that house if you don't have a job? And they sold you the house. Like, whoa, whoa, okay. And yeah. then they took it from you. And you're a victim? He's like, yeah. come on.
You shouldn't have bought that house. Fair is fair. But that's looking at it one way. Another way is looking at it like some family that like scrapes together money and the bank convinces them this will work out and then their fucking rates go through the Ooh, roof and then they can't afford their house anymore. Feet. Another fuck. Yeah, it is kind of a pot. Is it like once it's like the house is four hundred thousand dollars, even if you have good credit, you're like, how much am I gonna pay? It doesn't make any sense. And they're like, over thirty years, you're gonna pay four hundred thousand dollars in interest, and you're like, God, whatever, man. I don't, I don't you know. crying in front of that real estate thing was kind of. It was one of our very close. It was like our bonding story. Oh yeah. Him like sitting out there. He said he was crying after a deal didn't go through, and a guy drove by on a bike. <laughs> no, like, that was pussy. no, that <laughs> was when I, that was when I uh, I was when I got divorced. I used to go yeah, every right day to my old my house that I was living in when I was married, and I'd walk the dog <laughs> from my ex my ex wife because like you know she was at work, and I didn't, didn't want to like do. you know fuck her over. Like, don't worry, I finished the neck in there, he goes. I get choked up about that. It's a great dog. My wife knows it. She's like, how's how's the how's the dog? I go, don't fucking bring that up, dude. Chances are this is gonna reach that dog's ear. The what? What you're saying right now. She showed me a picture Your the dog's other day. at home right now. It's going to go. Don't, dude. Don't do it. But yeah, I, was dri- I used to drive. I would go there. I'd walk the dog. I'd walk through the house, and I'd be like, God, I'm a fucking piece of shit. Oh, fuck. And I'd drive home and cry the whole way home. Scorch and then I saw a guy feet. jogging, and I was like crying in my car, and I was like, pussy <laughs> out of the window. Like, yeah, I called him a pussy. I tried to make myself feel better. And he just like looked at me like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> we had the same like, sort of. No nice shorts, pussy. <laughs> I, 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 I bombed at helium. I was driving Sports back to our house, and there, and there was just a du- uh, uh, like a finance bro on a bike, and I was just driving by him, and I was like, pussy, <laughs> and I hit a red light, and I saw him flying, dude, for like a mile. I saw this dude like pedaling to catch up to me. <laughs> My windows were down, and I had a thought. I was like, do I pull the window up? Scorch, thanks, and like, see. No. I, I get whatever he's about to give me. I genuinely had that thought. I was like, he deserves it. <laughs> he stuck his head in, in my window, and he goes, nice car, you fucking faggot. <laughs> and then I went, oh. <laughs> and we both started laughing. He battled away, and I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's funny. Like, I mean, as soon as he hit me with what he said, and I didn't react by like, yeah, right, I laughed. I laughed. When yeah. he said it, I was like, yo. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs> he, was, he, he hit me with like a... <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. It was such a nice That's moment. That's a good exchange. It's a genuine yes. nice exchange. Yeah, like an aggressive right exchange, but you both walked away feeling good. We both, I, for no reason, I was just leaving helium. I saw a guy on a bike, and I was like, nice bike, fucking loser. <laughs> and he caught up, he goes, nice piece of shit car, you fucking... Yeah, we, used to, hit we used to yell out of car windows constantly. Yelling out of car, we used to live so by, on Drexel's Cave. Oh and it was back, like, right when the woke stuff was starting. It's the most fun shit in the world. We'd yeah. leave open mics. I'd be drunk just sitting out of a car. We'd pull up to a light. There'd be college students. I'd be like, uh, excuse me, could you please check your privilege? <laughs> could you please check your fucking privilage? <laughs> you like, oh. and <laughs> it was so fun. The reactions were awful. They would, they would get, like, pissed. Like, what the f- f- f-? It was yeah, so, they would confuse the fuck out of them. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Dude, yes. there's this hilarious exchange with this dude who I guess is, like, this right-wing comedian. He goes to one of these Ukraine protests. And he brings a homeless guy, and he says, uh, my wife's boyfriend is homeless. You know, why don't you help him and the homeless people here? And this guy, like, legitimately tries to engage him. Like, why are we sending all this money to Ukraine? We have this homeless problem yeah. right here. My, my wife's boyfriend's homeless. And he's got this <laughs> dude with him with his shirt off, and he's, like, shaking his, his cup with change Sports in it. Like, come on, man, give me some money. I'm like, we donate some money to him, and the guy like homeless. tries, to, tries engage to explain about the problems with Ukraine, oh, and we have a legitimate problem with Ukraine. <laughs> I mean, how, what else do you do? You, I mean, but this guy is like that liberal, that liberal robot zombie repeating and shit that he saw on CNBC. Ooh, is and saying it. He's got no shot. If somebody it comes with with a homeless dude and starts <laughs> fucking with you, if they're a tag team, yeah, fuck you and a homeless uh, dude roll up and start fucking with people. It's just funny watching this guy trying to engage. With like these well, liberal actually, Ukraine talking <laughs> points, and you know what Russia has done. Ooh, like, yeah, this is right here. Give me some fake. volume on this. Oh my God! Oh, oh, this, uh, I'm gonna send more money to Ukraine. What about this homeless man? My wife's boyfriend. You I know, need help. Don't you think he needs help? I need help. Look at this uh, guy. This is a uh, rally in Republican Front. Uh, yeah, but what about the homeless people right here in America? America. You only think a hundred billion dollars in Ukraine is a lot? Uh, no problem, people asking. Uh, are you asking Congress for this? Yeah, I think they should help the homeless instead of giving hundreds of billions of dollars to the Ukraine. <laughs> Scorch their Are people who have been uh, threatening to Ooh, attack other countries? Ooh, fear and fear. Do you have any money? Do you want to give him any money? Putin has been threatening to attack other countries, including the United States. Like, <laughs> 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 
That's <laughs> fucked up, dude. But he's struggling. Damn, hilarious. That shit's hilarious. He's just watching that guy actually try to engage him. Actually, Putin's been threatening well, that to guy's invade gone. other countries. That guy's gone. Anybody out there is gone. Yeah. That guy's gone, too. Well, which the guy who's doing the video? No, the, well, maybe, but the guy, the, the, the guy holding up a Ukrainian-American flag is, that's an insane person. Yeah, it was kind of an altar, too, a little bit. But oh, yeah, sure yeah. Something they didn't complain or about. maybe not, though. He might just be clammed up. Uh, something's wrong with him. What what percentage of people do you think like genuinely can't think for themselves? <laughs> yeah, this guy grabs. <laughs> <laughs> that is well, terrifying. A lot of people can't think for yeah. themselves. And all not only that, but they've had jobs where they've been forced to like all day, every day, follow the rules, you know, <laughs> listen to the boss, Scorch be told when to show up, what to do, and yeah. you just get into this drone <laughs> mindset. And then there, be there becomes an ideology that everybody in your business shares. And you have to share that ideology or you get pushed out into the yeah. fringes of the yeah. social group. And that's and a so, yeah. the attachment stuff fucks people up. It fucks people up. And then, you know, they say, well, a good way to get brownie points. Score so I protest. I protested. Yeah. I'm going to show up. I'm going to let everybody know I'm with the cause. Yeah, that was the, the Milgram experiments were fucked up. Like two-thirds of the people just let him shot. They were like, yeah, I'll just shot this guy. What was the Milgram experiment? experiment? That was the one where they were like, the guy in a lab coat would be like, turn up the voltage now. Torn, like a yeah, guy, yeah. Oh, be a guy right, in another right, as an authority right. figure, Score he'd be like, turn it up feet. now. And then they'd be like, the guy would be like, no, hell, please, it hurts. And the guys, the people would be like sweating and like, they didn't want to do it on some level, but for some reason they just kept obeying this guy. Like if he was like an authority <laughs> figure, like, do, it, lab coat. do it now. Yeah. You must do that. He didn't yell or anything. Like you must Score do this. And they were like, thanks. fuck man. And they were like, and only like two thirds, I think only, I think a third of the people went like, fuck this. This is fucked up. Yeah. They would make it so the guy in the other room would pass out or die. Yeah, he would go from screaming and screaming and screaming, and then towards the end, the guy would be silent, and he'd be like, "Shock him again." Score the system. People on the street would be like, "It was an overwhelming amount of people would just obey this guy, mindlessly obey the authority figure." Do you think that's some program shit from back when we were hunter gatherers? Probably. Follow rules. Yeah, yeah. Probably, because yeah, if you got if you got kicked out, you would die. They're like, "Yo, buzz off, you die." Yeah, there's a thing that people have where they they look to authority. That's why the the Trump thing was so interesting, because like he's like this big, larger than life character that has confidence, and he's yeah. telling you what's going on. I'm your leader. I'm the best leader, best one you've ever had. <laughs> and he's doing this, and he's and everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> and you find out like, the thanks. problems with the education system. The chickens yeah. have come home to roost, oh, yeah. motherfucker. Oh yeah. Because there's, there's millions of dummies. Millions yeah. and millions and millions and millions and millions of dummies in this country. Yeah. Yeah, it's Just fucked up. They would take so much to boost them out of dummyhood. So much. Yeah, you can't. You can exploit them. Scorched you have to do kids. You can't take adults and, like, shatter their worldview. Or be like, two things can be true simultaneously. The average is going to go, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Some adults can handle it. Some adults can grow. But it's hard to grow when you're working all day. And if you're working all day in a place where you have to follow the rules and you have to like score and be stay in that mindset that we're talking about and be a part of that ideology, very hard to stray outside of it. Yeah. Because who are you going to tell? Who are you going to pull aside? You know, if you're, yeah. if you're in one of those right wing Christian groups and, you know, and you, you go, well, maybe if someone gets raped, they shouldn't have to carry a kid. Score to yeah. and, and they fear. all surround you. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about murdering, murdering an yeah. innocent human life. Yeah, Murder. your whole family being yeah. like, we're going to fuck yeah. you up. It's like yeah. the fucking uh, the, we the Westboro yeah. chick that got out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's on, yeah. She was on this. She yes. was on fucking Howard Stern's Hollywood Squares. Really? Some of my favorite things. And you ever see those Hollywood <laughs> Squares? <laughs> no. It was the Megan funny. Phelps was on that? Yeah, it was the Phelps. I think their block was uh, gay haters. It was like, them, it was like, oh, and she got out. Yeah. Daniel Carver. Yeah. One block was just called The Retards. It was... I mean, it, it was nuts. Yeah, that shit was wild. <laughs> it's look, what he did, I mean, look, look, and people to this day, they make fun of Howard Stern for who he is now, and the way he behaves now. That guy's the man. Yeah. He was the fucking pioneer. When he was the king of all media, yeah. and he was telling everybody to suck his dick, and it, the, the FCC was going after him, the government was fining him. Yeah. Scorch. They were Sis finding his businesses fucking Ooh, millions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And, Fuck. and he was out there <laughs> doing wild yeah. shit on the he radio. He was putting a Klansman on with... Fucking young thug, or and not now, young thug. And well, now uh, he's woke. It's Miami. crazy. Trick daddy. Trick daddy. Yeah, yeah. He has to be though, because if dude, the skeletons, that guy. 
Yeah, look at this. God hates. Swords, Nathan, and Fox. Oh, yeah, there's also Hollywood Squares. They used to mix in they used to bring them back all the time. Game in. You know, what's interesting, too, is that when you talk to Megan Phelps, this woman who left the Westboro Baptist Church, and, you know, she wrote a book, and she's so kind, like, so normal and interesting. And she oh, realized really? she had to get out. And she got out <coughs> by meeting a guy on Twitter. Yeah. Some guy on Twitter was, like, arguing back and forth with her. And so she engages with this guy, and they start they having, like, civil conversations, and then they meet, and they want to marry her. What? Yeah. I mean, she's a little... She's very nice, it's man. In Hawk City, dude. Yeah, but, dude, she's she very nice. nice. Unfortunately if you for met her, her she's, she's super pretty nice. Pretty lady, nice. She's pretty. Yeah. She's smart. But she was raised in the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah. Like, that takes... the, the that this For her to <coughs> get out of that takes... That's crazy. Well, no, she no, knew. Yeah, nice would be to she in. was confronted by actual biblical rocks. lessons. This guy would like confront her with like actual uh, biblical stuff. Oh so my this is days. not what God said. This Scorch is not what's in the Bible. And what they're, they're doing, what Freddie yeah. Phelps is doing, is wrong. It's it's against Jesus' teaching. And she's like showing. He's yeah. showing. Yeah. And then he smashed. And then he smashed her pussy with his penis. Whoa. <laughs> nice. They probably got married first. For sure. Almost definitely. <laughs> Quickly. But how about Damn, he was Christ. butting her up with the Proverbs, dude. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Dude, while they're fucking, just like, Galatians. song of songs. <laughs> Eight, 13. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool that he did that. He got her out. Dude, you can get sucked into anything. If you're in it when you're young, you get indoctrinated. I mean, that's how every fucking cult does it. Yeah. You know, there's there's so many of them that can do it. They just voice of authority. It just this is the rules. Everybody follows the rules. You know. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're drinking the fucking Kool Aid. Drinking. You're yeah. literally like, yeah. all right, well, fuck it. Everyone else here is killing yeah. themselves. They got young kids badly though, because they somehow kids. hijacked the definition of being cool. And it's like you gotta love government and big corporations, and then you're cool. Oh, you know, all the young kids now, a lot of them are fucking warped on it. Yeah. Dude, I don't think that's sustainable. They're going to get their, their dreams shattered <laughs> over <laughs> yeah. and over and over again, and they're going to come out of it on the other Sports side and realize they're going to fuck. Fear. Yeah, yeah, but the, the putting your faith in the pharmaceutical drug companies and the government and, Dude. and then this the, the climate crisis crew that's trying to make money off that, all of it is just like, you, what are you, what, you're carrying water for people that have been stealing money forever, forever and ever and ever on both sides, on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. It's fucked for up. fucking sure. It's fucked They're up. all dirty. <laughs> That's why it's interesting when you watch this Biden thing. No. Oh, the machines in motion. Oh, with the, the oh, machine with to get rid of them is in motion. Good. All they got to do to get rid of them is g- let them give an interview. Well, they're yeah. letting them talk It'll be now. gone. They're letting them do yeah. this now. They were, they were hiding uh, through the entire uh, <laughs> you know, like during the presidential campaign. Remember when he was hiding? Yeah. yeah. Basically hiding. He did one Adderall up debate. Trump dog was Adderalled up in the Sports first one. They're all Adderalled up. Trump dog was Adderalled up. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. Their, all yeah. he had to do to win the debate was shut the I fuck up and do. let Biden talk. And he, he did a great job in the second, second one. Second one he dominated. First too one late. He, it was too late. It was too late. It was too late. He acted like a fucking asshole yep. in the first one. Yep. And the whole country <laughs> saw it. Yep. Yeah, it's I was watching it like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah, let Biden not be able to talk. It's That's all you have to do. He just make facial expressions. He could just went. The problem also, this is the real problem. The debate, debate format is ridiculous. Oh if you are talking to someone who is going to be the president of the United States yeah. and you have five minutes to say what you're saying or 30 seconds or a minute, whatever, any kind of time constraint yeah. like that is ridiculous. When Lincoln used to give speeches, they would do it outside with no mic for hours. Yeah. They would talk for hours and hours and hours about what they wanted to do and how they wanted to do it. Yeah. And then people would sit there and listen to it. Hmm. And you get an understanding of what the fuck this guy is all about. Nathan you know, y- you're giving these, like, Time is up, Mr. President. Ooh, Your time yeah, is up. And no. Just no. To finish the yes. no. How do they not have real-time fact-checking? <laughs> well, well, they, they do, but now all of a sudden that's kind of weird. True. Right, 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 who does it? Snopes? Exactly. Well, They'll yeah. fact-check who the one it? guy yeah, and not the other guy. <laughs> they're sitting there going, wait, is that true? Well, yeah, a lot of things were fact-checked up. during COVID that turned out to actually be true. And they were fact-checked as false. And now, of course. now we openly admit that. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying if they get caught lying during the thing, it should be like, no, that's actually false. Yeah, but these independent Close. fact checkers, it's very mm-hmm. a lot of the fact checks are very subjective how they view the information. Yeah. It's funny too, the, it, the <laughs> those debates could be good, but the only guys that are willing to like speak up and say like Scorch there's one from like Ron Paul in like oh eight. That's like, damn, that was a good 
that guy is yeah. finished because uh, they Yang would come up and like make a good point. Yeah, the guys that are going to win don't even try to make a good point. They're just up there like. Yeah. Right. It would have been very interesting. That's cute. If Ron tried. Paul won. Yeah. If Ron Paul won, that would have been very interesting. <laughs> that would have been very interesting. I don't even think he was. He was independent, right? Is that where he? Yeah, yeah but I don't, I don't even think he was. He was nothing. No, but his his ideas yeah. about non-interventionalist foreign policy like it resonated with a lot of people. Like, why are we the police? Oh, in the dude, world? he gave like, that what, speech what are yeah. we doing? in the debate. The, they're like something about 9/11, and he went off on like, why do you think it happened? Scorch yeah. Twitter. It's like why? It was at a Republican convention where everyone was like, "Boo, shut the fuck up." They hate our freedom. He's like, they don't fucking hate our freedom. It ended his career, or his his. Bid for the election, but yeah, it's pretty sick. School his stood up and tried to give a speech. His son is a badass. You like Rand? Yeah. Is that the guy who was like Trump dog? The, the, goes after Trump Fauci. Got Rand. Why do you go? Why do you get for? Yeah, that was the guy who was always attacking Fauci. Why did I? Tr- why? Well, Trump he was Fauci right. Win? He's t- attacking him about gain of function research, and Fauci's yeah, just up sh- there lying. That was shady. Like, why well, did Trump get him? Scorch yeah, why Trump tweet get him? and tweet. Rand was. It was in a debate, and he was like, "I haven't gone off after your looks at all." And right. trust me, there's <laughs> a lot of material there. Rand's looks. <laughs> Rand's always just like. My what? looks. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Trump man? just was like, "You're fucking ugly." I, I have made fun of you for being ugly. I could if I wanted to. He's <laughs> not even <laughs> that. To have that kind of confidence with that head of hair is preposterous. Well, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> go after people's looks. Yeah, but it fucks you're you up so much. You're literally wearing a mirage. Like yeah. Rand Paul was literally like, right? He didn't know it how was to handle stunning. It. Well, I think they would all approach it very differently now. They're probably like, oh, next time I'll get him. Yeah, they, they they'll definitely will get him. 2024, I'm going to fuck him up. No, they've all got nasty. In a soundbite debate, they uh, could never come near him. No. no. He's a master performer. Yeah. he's. I mean, he's a guy who's been speaking publicly forever. Forever. Yeah, and he's mean. Yeah, he's <laughs> mean. He'll go on and be he's like, yeah, you're ugly as fuck. And he has comedy <laughs> timing. Yeah, yeah he does. Fuck. He'd be in jail. <laughs> boom. That yeah. was. Boom. I mean, that was in a debate, and the crowd was like, ah. Oh. Boom. Because yeah. you'd be in jail. Ah. Yeah, that was pretty. And you see yeah. the moment when he thinks of it, his eyebrows kind of yeah. like when he got When he got Hillary Clinton. Er, uh, it was when he got Rosie O'Donnell. You could see him. Oh. Uh, what's her name? Kelly? Megan Kelly. Yeah. She's like Had asking him, dude. It. She's yeah. like, I got you on this. You've called women this. You've called women this. Not all women. You can women. see him go. <laughs> yeah. And he adjusts <laughs> the mic, dude. <laughs> as soon as he knows it, he goes. And discuss the animals. Got it. Your Twitter account. Only Rosie O'Donnell. For the record. Over. Destroy. What does he say though? For the record. Uh, well score six. Yes, I'm sure it was. Your Twitter. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, I'm sure it was. Somebody <laughs> telling you facts. It's also like, shut the fuck up. Super hot lawyer. Yeah. Megan Kelly. The the prototype <laughs> of the the fox of the babe blonde yeah. scorch super Thanks hot assassin lady oh god there's uh, to me they're the hottest they said her super hot Republican ladies on Fox they're the hottest alive I went to Mar a Lago so hot <laughs> I went to Mar a Lago there was ten of them walking around they're just around bro they're so hot they're the hottest women alive those fox bots. Fox bots. <laughs> 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 well, they fucking sit there. I had this whole bit about like Megyn Kelly is w- literally Sports wearing a vagina curtain. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's not even a good curtain, like a blackout curtain yeah. you have in the theater. Yeah. It's like the little curtain <laughs> Grandma has over a kitchen window sill where the windows <laughs> open. The sun shining through. Whispers in the breeze. Sun's coming s- through. A small amount of cloth between yes. that and her underwear. Which is just this Sports tiny team. little piece of cloth that's over Don't her vagina. Don't get me you try to get me hard. No, and, yeah. and, 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 and they all have beautiful legs, and their their oh whole leg is exposed. Yeah. No man could ever dress that way. They're, they, you see their feet, you see their toes, and their legs are crossed. I mean, it's a preposterous way of dressing. Sports you team. have full cleavage, arms are exposed. You, there's so oh much skin. It's, it's a weapon. It is wild, oh, though. Yeah. The, the t- form, the attire. That women Men are allowed to wear in certain situations is yeah. so sexual in compared to what men wear. Men cover up, sport, tie. That's a man dressing nice. You a woman dressing nice. Woman you see half of her tits. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. see yeah. most of her legs. Mm-hmm. You see her feet. You see her toes. You see her painted little toes. Perfect. Mm. 
perfect God little feet. Damn, Joe. Her long arms. Stop. Flowing hair. And she's wearing makeup. Like the full <sighs> face. I'm going to get that fucking ice hat. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> no. She's so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mad. You're like, fuck, I've been so fucking bad. You're I right. know you're mad. a color that only exists in flowers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did you ever get into super normal stimuli? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> How, like, they trick butterflies into dedicating their whole life. <laughs> yeah, this is all I've ever wanted. For real. For seven years. This is, this is the moment, dude. This is. Well, I was dude, wondering how you would do. You do. I was wondering. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do this, dude. He sent me the longest fucking text I was so message. Afraid. And like, b- b- bummed out that he's Ooh, asking he's me to have you come along, and I was like, yeah, for sure. I like, know, but it was but like this long, long thing. thing. No, it's not. Pretty it's like eight text. That's just kind of guy is, dude. Is that it? Yeah. 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 If you don't know, you'd be like, this motherfucker well, is I, fucking changing I don't, because he knows me. I know we're friends, but like, it's still like a hey, you want me to bring another guy? It's kind of yeah. I know. Let's go. But I also knew, I knew in my heart of hearts, Matt would rise to the occasion and say things like, have you ever heard of super stimuli or whatever bullshit that was? Dude, no, it's really, I knew it was in It's there. fucked up to think about because so they, <laughs> they would, they, you can attract people, you can attract species to, you find what they're innately attracted to and you produce a version of that that's so pumped up, nature can't reproduce it and it hijacks your biology. Uh, like Doritos. Like yes, fake tits. Th- yes, fake tits, Doritos. They would get, yeah. they would get these butterflies that are like the deeper the shade of blue or <coughs> purple. Like the some type of butterfly, the males would follow this. All they would go to that to like mate with the females. No. And they started getting these like dark purple construction papers, and these male butterflies would dedicate their Short whole lives and to just like floating around this piece of paper, and they would die. Oh, and then whoa. you have human beings were getting like hit with the same <coughs> shit, like flavor flavor blasted goldfish. That's Perfect. outside of nature's capacity to like. Right, that and makes then you, sense. Just, you get hooked to the like the fake thing, and it hijacks your biology. Sports, and you're like, dude, I want that Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, Corey, Corey, Corey. Corey Streeter. It's I over. Ju- I start eating Sour Patch Kids. I just stop. <laughs> I go just one. Just one. <laughs> and the next thing I, I eat a whole bag. bag of candy, and I'm a sitting bag. there having a fucking diabetes attack. Dude, yeah. if you go, if you go into a, a convenience store, ninety nine percent of the wow. shit is bad for you. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. You for can you. get like some beef jerky. It's pretty good. Yeah. If some you buy a bottle of water. <laughs> That's it. You gotta buy yeah, that. Yeah, of hard boiled eggs that are in like a plastic bag at a gas that's station. That's if you got your head on straight. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> actually a safe bet. No, that's actually a safe bet, dude. The yeah. hard boiled eggs are pretty good bet. Sports you know why? Because first of all, you can keep eggs for a long time. Eggs you could like leave leave on a counter. Like they don't go bad the way ever. They're they're encased, right? Yeah. And then when <laughs> they cook it, once they cook it, it's boiled all the way through, so you don't have to worry about salmonella. Put that bitch in a fucking I'm not saran wrap. I'm wrap. saying the. But the societal repercussions of eating it publicly. <laughs> Dude, I was with a guy who we were on a road trip. He got me out of and started eating fucking eggs out of a plastic bag in a oh, gas station. That's, that's me, bro. I was like, we're, we're done. done. Dude. You and me. Hard boiled eggs. That's, that's me. That's it. Dude. I would 100% eat that. Not only would I eat that, that, I would be flocked to that. I'd be like, ooh, that's what I'm looking for. Peeled and ready to eat. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> I eat five of those. Peeled and feared. Dude, Somebody else this is out of control. No preservatives. No peeled. preservatives. Yeah. Those are the EA. ones. Perfect. You don't have to preserve them. Those are the scary ones. ones. You go to a southern ones. southern gas station. I just bought a jug the other day. I went to the gas station. I was at the gas station and they had eggs with jalapenos in them. I was like, oh, spicy boiled eggs. Spicy pickled eggs. Let's go. What are the farts, though? Scorched pig and sweet. True. They're terrible. <laughs> I mean, that's exhaust flames, dude. That's bro, absolute exhaust flames. The most flames. terrible part <laughs> in a Tesla is just eating <laughs> gas station eggs. That's protein, dude. <laughs> the most terrible farts that I can make are oh. pasta with like meat sauce. Oh. <laughs> if I have pasta with like sausage. The, with the tomato sauce and a Ooh. giant bowl sausage of spaghetti. Oh, I'm God. hitting. I, so I'll eat sausage or something before a show. Now I'm drinking Bud Lights. Now we're going into the show. I'm burping in the front row. <laughs> it's an hour long show. I'm literally on stage going. <laughs> <laughs> I see people in the front like. <laughs> <laughs> How many times you ever farted on stage and knew it was horrific? Never, Never. do. You farted on stage? I farted on stage once. So it, was so so comfortable. it was so bad. No, I was so, so, so embarrassed. I moved to a different part of the stage. Pretend <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> did you stop talking while you're farting, or did you? Well, like, I don't remember. It was a long time ago, but I remember it was so <laughs> bad. I was like, "Oh no, I'm, I gotta get away from this." Dude, I've been chasing That's that. So I've been not been able to fart on stage. I, I, I didn't think you could do it. We've been discussing this. Dude, I go right to Mike. I'd go to Mike and amplify. You gotta fart into the mic. Depends on what uh, Joey did that before in the OR. He was in the <laughs> middle of a thing. <laughs> so I'm talking to this dude. Hold on, hold on. Ah, you're naked. Ego suka. 
Did it work? Because like, oh, yeah, the way I would imagine is killed. the crowd going, oh, we died. Like, people must have been like, what was that? It's a, it was at the store in the Four OR. The store in the OR is basically Ooh, doing stand-up in a prison it's just column. <laughs> it's like the people are savages. Like, yeah. they're so accustomed to, especially back then, they were so accustomed to just this wild comedy <laughs> and Brian Holtzman and all these different fucking people going up slaying and yeah. talking about all kinds of crazy shit. It's dark as fuck in there. Scored, you can't see anything. It's, just it's the best. Damn. It was perfect. That club today? Yeah, it's different Finish animals. Hopefully we can get that going. Folks. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah One of those types club. of rooms. Yeah, I thought you meant that club, the store. Yeah, how about that place? It looks nice, right? Dude. Yes. We're Horrible. close. If you can get a room like that where guys are farting in mics, <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. It's happening. This country might have a chance, dude. dude <laughs> we got a chance. That's the new Liberty Bell. It Liberty actually might be the Liberty Bell. It's the Alamo for comedy. <laughs> it really might be. Yeah, yeah it is. That's what Louie called it. The Alamo? <laughs> said you're building us an Alamo. Yeah. Sweet Lou. <laughs> it is fucked up, dude. I mean, it's, it's literally the sign of totalitarian Scorch oppression. Thanks, like, yeah. dude, you're, seriously, don't fucking joke about that. Yeah, don't joke about that. It's dangerous. And people don't realize that, but people have realized that throughout history. The Lakotas had a, 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 a sacred person in their tribe called the Hayoka, who would uh, make fun of everything. I would have fucking hated that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy sucks <laughs> ass, dude. I am, and he would hide behind it, too. Like oh, comedians. Of like, it's just a joke. <laughs> He'd be yeah. like, hey, okay, dude, for real, stop. Yo, it would be like roast battle every day. Every day. Every day. It would be like roast battle. Every day. Every day. Oh. Every day. You're <laughs> shitty Indian. You can't catch anything. There's every day the Hayoka stands up. Well, like if you <laughs> fucked up, they'd give you a fucked up name. You had to like yeah. it would be your name until you prove them uh, through the law. Uh, yeah. Empire of the Summer Moon. Yeah. Dude, really? uh, dude, their names were like dog pussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as I- I- magical as we like to think it was. It was like no. dog dog dick. Yeah, Come over here. Well, when you read about what they did to each other, you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, we, this Scored idea that they were these peaceful thanks. people that were living together, living off the land. And yeah. Everybody yeah. Maybe some were. That's the thing. Yeah. But they didn't seem like this. Well, they got raided by the other ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Dog Dick and his buddies would show up and fucking <laughs> drag you and your kids off. <laughs> <laughs> they would go on raids just like the Vikings did. They were raiders. Yeah, like the the Comanches, especially the people that live here, they were raiders. That's yeah. what they did. They'd get together in giant groups of horses. And the other thing they would do that's fucked up: they caught guys, like they caught guys slipping, like some U.S. guys were trying to make their way across. Scorch, thanks, they would and fear. cut their horses loose in the middle of the night, and so they would stampede their horses out so they'd never get their horses back, and then they would slowly foul them from a distance, so like starve to death. Jesus, so man, watch them and mock them. So they'd be on horseback at the top Scorch, of the ridge, just you know. Feet few hundred yards away, laughing at them. And these dudes are walking. No water. Yeah. Don't know where they're going. No horses. It's the guy from fucking Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> just walking. Just, just walking. Like, God <laughs> damn it. I've been to a baseball game. He just wanted <laughs> to pay for <laughs> education. Yeah. Just the government would get to pay for his college. It's like, this is great. Great Ooh, deal. Be glad God you damn. Now I'm here starving to death in the plains. Yeah. And you're, you don't see <laughs> shit. You're just walking. It's just flat forever. Yeah, it's shit. It's flat forever. The plains yeah. suck. And there's no houses out there. This is the early days. No one needs to even move there yet. That was the scariest part of that book about the Donner Party, where there was like the scary part about crossing the plains was like a kid would get off the wagon and like walk. They'd be lost immediately. The grass was high enough. You'd lose a kid and you couldn't stop. You'd be Uh. like, well, the kid's gone. They'd be lost. Yeah. It was like a Scorch, yeah, it was a desert with like Ooh, grass that was up to here. And oh. the children were just Jesus gone. Christ. There were snakes. Everything sucked. Everything sucked. Wolves. Yeah, just a, lions, a dog bears. came and ate your family. <laughs> <laughs> Pack of them. Just a bunch of dogs carried your sister oh. off. <laughs> your mom dies from diarrhea. Oh. Everyone's diarrhea, dude. Oh my god. You didn't know where where it should go. Everyone's just shitting around the table, <laughs> drinking out of the water. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> birds yeah, are falling. Birds are yelling. You don't have time to boil the water. You just drink out of the creek. Shit blows. Dude. Dysentery. And now all of a sudden, Indian fucking Comanche <laughs> start following you. Yeah, and they follow you slowly. They let you know you're, yeah. you're around. They're like, we're gonna rape you in about a week. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Your it wife's nagging. Slowly oh, circle you. You're not even diarrhea. gonna fight them off. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. That's a man. Oh, oh no. Imagine the sourpuss on the, one of your wagon wheels breaks, and you're like, how the fuck do I fix this again? It's like, man. You have no idea what you're doing. What a sourpuss, dude. 
your, yeah. your wheels are made out of wood. <laughs> they explode. You're oh. making your way across the entire country on wheels made out of wood oh. with horses pulling you. You hope the horses stay alive. Score yeah. yeah. got a few of them. Finish the next day. Finish the next day. With kids. And then you Finish have a kid. Oh, yeah, along the way. Then they get oh, pregnant. Yeah. What? Get pregnant yeah. on the way. Obviously, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, dude. Well, that Cynthia Ann Parker story, the woman who was nine years old, and yes. the whole family was slaughtered. And they would take the young ones and integrate them into the tribe because the Comanche lost a lot of uh, children, a lot of m- mothers while they were pregnant. They, the baby maybe c- never came to term because they were riding horses. And they were oh. bouncing around Sports all the time. And they're fucking, you know, a lot of impact. So their populations, it was very important to keep a high population. Yeah. So they would bring in people that they captured. That's what the Amish do. That's the what Amish the Amish do. do? I've heard. They go on raiding parties? I've heard they snack, they snack kids. They'll come down to Mechanicsburg. They'll raid us. I've heard. Sports they see like a, fuck, like a mom all drunk and fucked up. I've heard. I don't want to slur the Amish, but I've heard they'll fucking <laughs> snack it. Yeah, they need some new blood, man. They, they you really heard this? I have heard this. If you, I've heard <laughs> people who are in the bar. <laughs> My brother's boy. It's a fun thing to say. It's a fun thing to say. It's like folklore. You know? Yeah. It's, like yeah, yeah, it's right. fun. It's, it's nice having the Amish. I like having the Amish where we're from. Me too. That's what separated us growing up. It was you. We'd you have where you Amish. lived. Amish country. Me. Now we'd have the Amish. What's that thing that they get to do when they, they turn into Rumspringer. Yeah, Rumspringer, dude. That's wild. They get to stay on Rumspringer as long as they want. Scorch and feet and feet. It's not like a year. It's as long as they want. And then they come back. You'd be like 38 and be like, all right, Rumspringer is done. Whoa. Yeah. Well, your parents will oh, shun you. Oh, they can't really? talk to you. Uh, yeah, you can get yeah. shunned real hard. If you fuck up real bad, people, everyone you know, just won't talk to you. Well, how do you even they know? They block you, basically. They're not on social life. media. They, they don't have phones. How do, how do they even know if you're yeah, upset? Just old school accusations. Uh, just yeah. like, dude, uh, he smells uh, like booze. Yep. Or if you go like, all right, right mom. Like one That's time. not what I mean. Yeah. I mean, like, Fun. how do you even know if they're mad at you? You're not around them. Oh no, not if on you're not on run Sport, Rumspringer. Like that's a big thing in the Amish community. If you like, right? But uh, what I'm saying is, how do they know the parents are mad if they're out running around because the parents don't have phones? No, they don't. So they can't call you. Pure Rumspringer. <laughs> He's saying when you get back, <laughs> yeah. If you oh. fuck up within the community, you will get shunned. Yeah, mm-hmm. like everyone will stop talking to you. It's like a punishment they do. Score they don't I don't know. I, I think they'll do it for a while. They'll come and be like, hey mom, and she'll just go turn her back. <laughs> <laughs> hey dad. Hey Paul. Hey Paul. will go. Hardcore. I like that though. Then you go to your, I'd go to my room and fucking fap, dude. Just my little whack <laughs> off. <laughs> I take off my Huckleberry face. Yeah, it's like nice. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it to memory. True, Sports but I mean, tap only to memory. I mean, no. Probably, you probably have some rich databanks. Dude, they probably have some drawings they can show you. I bet those dudes, dude. It doesn't matter how religious you are. If you're a young boy trying to whack off, you're getting your hands on something. Yeah. Those boys have got a hold of some porn, dude. dude. Like, who's ever gone the longest in the 20th century, jacking off just on memory? Dude, dude I haven't watched porn since August. That's not that long. That's pretty <laughs> fucking long, dude. You do it. That's not that long. People do that accidentally, dude. Yeah, what? That's, that's normal. Yeah. I was having dreams about it. <laughs> you have dreams about porn? Yeah, when I first stopped, dude, I was, like, having dreams about porn. It's, dude, it was hard. That was tough for me to stop doing. What made you want to stop? stop. I thought about getting there. caught. Because I've gotten caught before by my wife, which, you know, whatever, fair game, but, like, I thought, about, I thought about getting caught by my kids. I'm like, I'm definitely going to oh. get caught. And I went, I'm stopping this now. Yeah, yeah, you're a stop it now guy when you see a problem. Stop it now with drug dealing. Stop it now yeah. for jerking off. Yeah. Uh, I'm still fat, what about when you go to a hotel room, though? Bro. See, that's the thing. Bro, system. when we're done this. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. But then do you bust out the porn? No, then I wanted to so badly today. That's the, that's the final frontier. Not looking oh. at the porn in the hotel room is mm, tough. It's dude. impossible. Only I'll know, oh, but I'm, I can't. I can't do it. I mean, the first, uh, if I do it, I'll tell people. But that's like, the thing, though. Like, I, but you I, can't I, get caught. You said your worry was that you were going to get yeah, caught. Yeah, but I've also I've like been a big hardo about being like, I quit porn. I've said it you know, in public, so now like if I go Sport back, I'm going to be a You're a prisoner to your statements. Yeah, but also I, it, it's not, not that. Once you stop, it, you're, it is <laughs> easy. You're like, I, I don't need it. I don't need to Sounds do like it. Sounds like you're going to need it. I Brother. think it does. Brother. He keeps talking to me about this, and every time I'm like, who cares? It's a it's a mental challenge. Like, I genuinely don't between, think about it or I care about it. I'll f- I didn't I but live some with, dudes get addicted to it. Yeah, but I live I with my girlfriend. I don't watch porn when we're together. I've been, I was home the last two weeks. I didn't whack off I've once been known to porn. To slink off, dude. As soon as I got <laughs> to this hotel in Austin. Yeah. Wow. I was forget how good porn is, dude. You look at it, you're like, yo. 
What is she? She got stuck. Eight years better than trying. That shit rules. You forget. How many girls get stuck under the bed looking for an earring? Dude, it's, it's not a moral grandstand. It's just I want to build my willpower. My willpower is weak. No, it's and not. It's too. weak, dude. Yeah, it's weak. Nice but you, you quit yeah. selling drugs and you quit watching porn. You have good willpower. You have great willpower. It took a while. And also, it took bad events. <laughs> took yeah, them. but you did quit. That's True. what willpower is about. True. 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 He's discussed what type of parent he's into. What kind? I was just into everything, brother. Sports I went down some dark alleys. What's the darkest? The, the peas, brother. The peas. The peas? The peas, brother. The fucking T-100s. <laughs> T-1000s? What's that? What are you talking the about? T's. What's the Terminator T-1000s? Yeah. yeah. You hear you this T-1000s. The boys and the girls. When the boys become girls. When the boys become girls. When oh, the boys the teas. Naked. And trams. He liked the teas. That could be an issue. Like Joe, that. I'll tell you, it is. <laughs> you don't want to get caught with that. Well, here's the thing. It's just, it's just a ramping up of like... Talking about super nat- super normal stimuli, dude. That's why I'm so passionate about that. It's like your brain, you need like the edge. This was my problem with it. I didn't have a drug Sports problem. I could never like stop th- drugs or whatever. But then it's like you get the blood flowing on sex stuff. It's like that's not getting to flow. And you go to like something a little bit more kind of out there. And then you finally mm. you land on those shores and you go, my God. <laughs> my God, where have <laughs> I gone? You like try to assemble the raft. Sports it's all shape. fucked up. You're like, oh, I got it. One of our first episodes is he's explaining. He watches it. I was like, what the fuck? fuck and then he was like give it a shot so i was like i'm open-minded i tried to whack off the d porn i opened it first things first i'm watching a dude like you can see his clavicles while he's fucking or her you know yeah. what i mean i could see the clavicle i was just like ew dude i turned it off Sports immediately i can't believe that i have a strong imagination i have a strong imagination that's disgusting a strong imagination no I, i'm honest though dude it was i was like this I is saw fucked one up. fucking dude on top with tits but you could still see the Clavicle and the Adam's apple, and I was like, "You sold that out, dude. You sold that out." <laughs> I don't know which one's to search. I don't fucking know. But I, I will say, dude, I'm telling you, it's a silent epidemic, dude. And I'm not projecting this on the silent masses. epidemic. I believe so. Do do the teas? Yes. I truly believe so. I truly believe so. I I actually, no. If you read the uh, the book, what is it? Fucking uh, a billion wicked lies, a billion wicked thoughts. Yeah. Where they so, they crunch the fucking metadata from the internet, and it's like. It's doing numbers, dude. Someone's crunching the Sports metadata on trans porn. <laughs> on all porn. All porn, <laughs> dude. <laughs> well, yeah, what's fucked up is the, the porn That sounds like one of those Pfizer studies. They try to find no. the right result. We're going to the mess. <laughs> Stop <laughs> acting serious right now. He's <laughs> 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 pretending to be serious about this. And I want you to meditate with a pen in his hand. Oh, he's got a pen in his hand, and he's fucking <laughs> hovering it over the paper. He's talking about meditating. <laughs> he's waited so long on to be on this show. And now he's here. I'm telling you, they crush numbers on. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's it is up. good. It is good. It's, it's a jolt of electricity. Dude, it's your fucking sexuality. Uh, I'm fucking you. hero as hell. I get it, bro. <laughs> but it's like, bro. <laughs> I, I believe you. Thank you. I know a lot of people Sports listening. I need, I need to hear that from you right now, jokes. I'm in a dark place. Bro, how nice would it be to get back to the hotel and just tee porn it up? Now I'm telling you, I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not making it up. You go off of it, you kind of de-escalate the fucking dopamine <laughs> drive towards like more and more of crazy. And then you go, yeah, I'm Sports cool, man. Yeah, that's your shit. That's what everyone does. You, like, you, go, go, you can just go to like yes. a a karma free like stepmom type porn Bro. where you got like a 45 year old lady she's banging a 20 year old college student Sports. you know the, yeah. the college students in Ooh, town you, dad you. goes to work oh my neck hurts could you give me a massage the coolest shit possible the 20 year old kid doesn't want to do it like it's kind of fucked up my dad would be upset he doesn't have to know can it's you rub my lower back yeah yeah, yeah that you know that Hot forty-five year old who your dad isn't fucking anyway. That's what she yeah. says. She says yeah. he never fucks. Yeah, see, isn't that better? So much bigger than him. It's so, so much better. But I'm saying when you I, like some guys can't. <laughs> trip. He's so much bigger than him. So much bigger. <laughs> some guys, some guys can't drink. <laughs> some guys can't drink because they stay out all night. I can't, dude. I just you fucking do one bump. <laughs> when we were talking to William Montgomery, Montgomery, we were talking to William Montgomery in the green room last night. And William Montgomery's been off of coke and booze for quite a long time. And they showed a picture of him when he was fat and drunk. Yeah. And I was like, one bump of coke. How bad would it hurt you? <laughs> like, well, maybe you should get back a little bit. Every now and again. <laughs> and you can see, like, look at his face. Like, I'm like, hey, don't do it. I'm like, don't do it. 